Hi, uh, how's everyone doing? I'm Cheng Ho from ATA PetSmart. So uh, today we're going to take a picture of this uh, aquarium. Uh, the, the, the equipment that you need will be some a camera that have a hot shoe because we're going to have to fire the, uh, f uh, the flash rear remote control because if you want to take picture of the aquarium, you need lighting from the top and also from the back. And your uh, normal aquarium light won't do because they are not bright or fast enough. So you have a, a, a slow light, you might have a uh, or a low light, you might have a, a slow shutter speed. So you will, your, your fish will look like they they have uh, some they blur out because the, the fish is constantly uh, uh, swimming. So we need, we need strong light or fast light. So in this case, we're using the the uh, flash gun fire remotely. So flash gun, the light is very fast, so it will capture motion, uh, any motion is still. Uh, and also, for this case, we can't uh, fire a uh, flash from behind as a fuel light. Uh, preferably, we need a fuel light from the back so there won't be much shadow, but because it's an aquarium, the back is covered by a uh, backdrop, a back, black backdrop, so there's no way we can uh, uh, put a fuel light. So we just have to fire the flash from on the top. We have uh, three flash. Uh, you can fire directly, but you will capture a lot of bubbles because uh, the the flash is the light is too harsh. So we need to uh, disperse it. I have this uh, custom made uh, light box, <laughs> which is cover box with aluminum foil. Oh, uh, if you're using aluminum foil, uh, make sure you have to have your remote trigger far away from the box because it's actually a uh, block radio signal. So, uh, as for the camera, uh, any camera will do. I'm using the A7R. Uh, so, your camera has to be able to let you have uh, manual control because you're going to have to set the ISO, aperture and all the, and the shutter speed manually. So, okay. We are now ready. I'm going to put this one on and come back to you. So uh, anyway, we are setting up the lights. So um, we are shooting raw because uh, if you can control raw, you have more options on the dynamic range. So you can bring the shadow out. So because we don't have a few light, so uh, raw is preferred. Uh, or else you can have jetpack if it doesn't know how to use raw. So as for the camera, you can use uh, some. Some point I should do have a uh, hot shoe. You can use those as well. Uh, yeah, so we have to try the first round. Uh, I'm using manual control over the uh, flash because I have, I have the third party uh, wireless trigger. Uh, so we just have to try the different uh, shutter speed and all. But uh, we do want a uh, high shutter speed because uh, we first we want to make sure the the fish is captured still doesn't have any uh, blow up movement secondly because there's light here we can't cover the light it's, we're on the street now so if you have a slow shutter speed those light will be the refraction of those light will be captured here so we're using the faster shutter speed uh, we should eliminate most of them Okay, so uh, now we're ready. Uh, we will try the first shot. Uh, we try with F8 uh, at ISO 320. Let me back up a bit. Okay. Okay. So I think we're close. Maybe we just got it right. I'm not sure you can see this, it's a bit 
are overexposed. So I'll grab a few more just in case. There's a bit of reflection but it can't be helped. I try to I try to reduce the lights that come in. I don't think my sync can go any faster, but we'll try a faster shutter speed. But I don't think it will work. Let me just try. Oh, it still work. Okay. Oh, and also you want to have a smaller aperture because um, you want to capture everything in focus. So small aperture equal to a larger depth of field. So let's see, let's check out the second one. So I think it's pretty clear. This is pretty okay. I'll try another one with, uh, with a darker, darker shot. See, you have to, I think I'll just close down the aperture even further. But I don't think I can sink any faster than uh, 200 of a second. So let's grab the focus here. And fire. This one is pretty good. Oh, I think this one got the, uh, the exposure right. I can see my, my gas is all scratched up. It's an old aquarium. Uh, the light is not even because uh, like obviously my custom made reflector, a custom made light, light box is not that great. <laughs> but I think this will have to do. We don't have a proper equipment, so I think this will do. Just grab a few more shots just in case. Before I run out of battery, there's only 19% left. Okay. Oh yeah, if you have a tripod, it would be tri better to use a tripod. It's so hard to focus with when it's dark with a mirrorless camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that's it. I'll just grab one more just in case. With different focus. I worry about focus because I can't really see much, it's all noise inside there. That's the downside of mirrors, mirrors camera. And using a manual focus lens. Okay, three, two, one, bam. Okay. So yes, this is the final shot. I'm not sure you can see it. Zoom in a bit. Let's see the Denisoni. I went through with a uh, with Photoshop and I think we'll be uploaded with the video together on our blog. Okay, bye.